All right, guys, Ian Anderson, Ben Baker, Central Coast Disc Golf. We're back for round two of the Little River Charity Disc Golf Tournament. This should be a good watch. we got some new contenders, Ben. Yeah, now we got Larry Berger, Daniel Burroughs, David Brennan, all out here to show their stuff. Yeah, they'll be doing, joining Dallas and Scott, and uh, let's watch some disc golf. We are kicking it off on hole one, uh, par four, 523. It is tucked in the left-hand side of the fairway, Ben. Yeah, you got a really wide open fairway to just crush one out there, and then it's kind of a technical layup because a lot of woods you're thrown into. Indeed. Scott Kyle. Boom. He bombs. Yeah, he really does. Uh, you know, Scott doesn't get as much attention as a lot of players of his caliber because he doesn't tour very much, but he's a crusher. Sure is. And so is this guy, Dallas. Yeah. Of course, some of the older players will remember Dallas from his more heavy touring days. Yep. But, uh, yeah, he's still a force to be reckoned with. In fact, I'd say yep. he's been making a nice little comeback. Nice. Yeah, dig it, man. Seems like he's playing a lot more. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Larry Berger. That's right. Larry Berger of that area. Um, he's got a great forehand, which we'll see quite a bit throughout this round. Right. Nobody did there. <laughs> David Brennan up next. Yeah, David Brennan. Nice flex. Nice little launch. Yeah. Where's he from? Do you know? Uh, I'm not exactly sure you know the rest all these guys are from this area generally okay cool yeah. nice uh, this is uh daniel burrows up last yep. but not least nope yep right in the middle of the fairway and the basket is tucked just behind the group of trees i believe yeah, yeah. You can see the red flag most of these guys are going to try to play a hyzer with a little skip to get right up to it and mm -hmm. he clips a branch so he's got some work to do that was david coming a little bit short i believe here's larry there's the forehand there it is it's fading out early though Oh, oh, but it worked out okay. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Gave him a clean putt. Yeah. Daniel, going to take the backhand line, probably skip it in there. And yeah, pretty good. Yep. Dallas got this the first round, hoping to repeat. Ooh, sharp angle on this one. Playing a big skip. Yeah. And well done. Yeah, hopefully that, that nestled nicely. Uh, Scott. He crushed that drive. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, man, almost too short of a layup. Looks like he probably tried <laughs> to take a putter. And they yeah. putters. They don't usually hook up that hard. That's true. That was David uh, giving it a go. Here is Larry. Oh. oh. <laughs> it was a, was a good run. Uh, Scott. Ooh. Man. Canned it. Nice putt. The man can play. Oh, yeah. Daniel. Oh, uh, FRB. Yep, got to want it. And we got David coming back. That's Ooh, a good putt right there. Really good putt from a straddle. Yeah. And Dallas for Bird. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. You know Dallas isn't missing that one. No, very solid putt. Mm-hmm. Just pops it right in there. All right, there's your card after hole one. Our, our leaders are they're stretching it. Yeah, you know, Scott and Dallas already had a pretty good lead on the rest of the group, but uh, they're extending it. They are. Hole two, scene of the Roger Kanzler suite. Yeah. <laughs> but The breakfast. Slash the throat. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> don't, don't forget about him. No. <laughs> <laughs> 249, the danger here is kind of just tucked just past those trees. Yeah, and I mean, uh, yeah, so there's the green right behind the basket, right and then uh -huh. it's kind of hard to get through those trees. The, it is. The more obvious play is to go around them and get a big flare, kind of like mm -hmm. people are doing with their upshots in the last hole. Oh, yeah, exactly. Looks good from Dallas. Oh, Mike. Weaves his way that between those two, but rolls his way onto the green. Oh, wow. It is deadly yeah, close. It is really close, yeah. Dang. Well, should be able to make a par putt at least, though. Yeah. And Larry's going to show off that forehand you mentioned. I think this is a firebird he's throwing, and he throws quite a bit during the round. Okay. He said that's his favorite disc. Yep. That'll work. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And David the Titanic. David loves the Titanic. However, this is not a Titanic, but... Oh, man. Uh, in the name of poor taste, it sunk like one. It did. <laughs> it sunk right up to it. Right next to the basket. Daniel? Uh, looks like he caught a late tree, but at least he's in bounds. Titanic is a great disc. Have you ever thrown one of those before? No. Like, I don't even know what it is. Uh, it's a putter. but. Uh, oh, Scott! Wow, yeah, Scott from deep. Great oh, my goodness. He's got that thing working so far. Yeah. So he says a putter? Yeah. Um, Dave said he uses his uh, approach disc. Um, oh, okay. Puts with an AVR. But, uh, yeah, I love it. It's You know, you can crank on it and just go straight for days. 
It's nice. one of the older DGA putters, and it might be discontinued now. Okay. Larry with a great putt as well. Yeah, another long range. Mm -hmm. And Dallas to save his putt. Oh, oh, Dallas. I'm Dallas-like. Ooh, for real. It's more like Houston. That was, that was Ian-like right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be putt like me, Dallas. It's Come, not on. Ian, like, Come on. Come on. You're gonna lose your jump card before you know it. <laughs> I hope so. One of these days, man. No, I'll never lose it. <laughs> jump for life. I'm only I'm only getting older, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, you're getting craftier too. There we go. I'll take that. I'll take that. All right. We got three birds there from Larry. We got was that Daniel with one as well? Uh, I think so. Uh yeah, here it, we got the the ditch. Oh no, no it's David. Right. David had the drop in. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, so this is the one. Jeremy tried to cut the corner last time. For most players, it's yeah. a big hyzer crush. Plays 385 downhill, but you got to get pretty wide just to get to it and give it some height, yeah. too. So Scott does both that, but just goes really too wide. Um, yeah. I think, again, he just wanted to be safe. Give himself yep. you know, a long eagle run, but the guaranteed birdie. Exactly. Yeah, you don't want to be fading into those, those trees too early. Love it. Some serious trouble, Larry. That's getting flippy. Flippy, but oh. really extending its flight, and it hooks up. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Not, ba not bad. Now it'll be an easy bird, most likely. David? Let's see if we can keep the birdie streak going. Oh, that's stable. Uh, you know, what I'm just not sure that? what happened here. I think it might have been kind of a release point thing, too. It just you think so, man? never really was, flattened out. That was wild. I mean, if you're going to throw something that flies that much over stable, I would think he would have put Anheuser on it. Yeah, that's a really good point, yeah. Oh, is this going to work? Uh, it does. Yes, all right. Yep. Nice shot, Daniel. Also with the da sweet eye on this prodigy disc. Oh, yeah. Whistler's Bend is amazing. Yeah, Dallas uh, Whistler's Bend up in I Oregon, love right? that course. Yeah, yeah, Southern Oregon, uh, just outside of Roseburg. I still have yet to play it, but I hear great things. Oh, oh it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Oregon's so full of great courses from what I've seen. It, it, it really is. Yeah. All right, so this is from the uh, DZ here? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. And the oh, my. <laughs> I was afraid this could drop in the water for yeah, a second. So that's part of the deal, too, is you really want to get across safely just because if you go in that ditch at all, it's not the easiest drop zone shot. It, it's not a gimme at all, is it? No. We can see some good layups here for Birdie. Uh, Scott going to give it a run for the Eagle. Oh. He's not. <laughs> Come on, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Get greedy. Yeah. Buddy. He's, he's playing smart. He's playing smart. Can't blame him. Dallas? Oh, Ooh. the eagle has landed. <laughs> wow. What a drive and what a putt to, to cap it off. Yeah. Very well done. David, he cleans up the bird. Or Bogey. Oh, that's yeah. Bogey. Yeah, he went OB off the drive. Looks like. Everyone else will clean up birdies, though. And that bogey's oh, man. really playing kind of like a double bogey on this hole. It it really does, man. It's a must-get birdie and a must-not bogey. Right. So Dave's got work to do to catch up now. He does. But uh, Dallas making moves right there. Yeah. Yep, getting a stroke on Scott, who has a four-stroke lead on him. Um, Larry getting a little bit of separation there from uh, David and Daniel. Yeah. And we're on to hole four. Well, for um, the obvious big hyzer, if you can reach it that way, or there's snake shot up the middle. And then we saw uh -huh. Kanzler take uh, an Anheuser route yesterday that seems like kind of a bad idea, but it worked out okay. Yeah, almost worked. Yeah. Dallas with a towering hyzer. Yeah, really. Ooh, Oof. good one. Almost put it in. That's, that's your bird, most likely. Yeah. Scott's going to need one if he wants to keep that four-stroke lead. That is even higher and wider. Ooh, maybe a little too much. Yeah. But he's open. He's got a putt. And actually, yeah. that's really close. Wow, that is not bad at all. Larry? This is looking money, but it needs to go. Yeah, see, he's a little short. Uh, oh, wow. It's kind of deceptive. It, the, the pin looks yeah. pin high with that tree, but it's actually past I it. I felt the same way. That's why I made sure to include the second camera there. Yeah. Yeah, it's really deceptive off the tee for sure. Uh, this looks pretty good. Yep, gets around the tree and not far behind Scott. Yep. Let's see, let's see if Daniel can put it in. Uh, David up next. Oh, he's taking the inside route. Uh, yeah, this... it needs to come back. Yeah, it's going to be a little wide. Yeah. Should be a pretty easy par, though. Yeah, actually, I mean, and he does. This is a birdie look. 
It is, but it's yeah, a little long. <laughs> far, far enough. David's like, nah, I'll just, I'll take my part. Yeah. Larry, oh. ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Larry wanted the birdie. Yeah, not so much though. Daniel, who has eschewed the hoodie. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's true. S- yep, Scott. Oh, we got a little fancy with the camera work on these putts, just for fun. No. Oh, that's a stroke right there. Uh. You see him drop the disc. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Great putt, but he lost style points. Mm. Dallas looking to keep pace. Keep Scott just four ahead. Hey, there's that Masters lead card in the background. Pat Noden, Kanzler. Oh. oh, yeah. They were hot man. They should have played open. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they were right there with the other three. On yeah, the start. They, they were. Yeah. Well, I feel like Roger was like. was one off the lead of Scott. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Had a great first round. Super solid. Everybody else dropping in pars. Uh, good birdies from Scott and Dallas. They're again pushing that lead out. Uh, Scott still with four strokes, but we got a lot of holes left to go. Yeah. Uh, next up is hole five. Hole five. Uh, Scott broke out an amazing roller last time. Um, mm-hmm. Four thirty uphill. It's a really tough eagle. So you know, I think you really want to just make sure you get yourself out in the open with a, a nice look. Well, it seems like that's the the Dallas game plan, Ben. Yeah, you could tell he's not trying to bite off too much. Yeah, he's not. Although, Scott, see if he goes back to that roller. It worked the first round. No reason not to. Yeah, in fact, he might just be a little more on the safe side here. Looks like he kind of got a little wider. And yeah. that's safer and still plenty enough. You know, he yeah. should easily get up and down. Oh, yeah, that's no worries for Scott. So, Larry going to bite off a little flex line. Up the middle. All right. I was thinking I might have tried that in my eight Oh, days. yeah. But, uh, yeah, that he worked. Just... That got him pretty far out there. I did. Daniel Ooh. looks a little low. Got a cut it, roll. He cut roll, and he gets one. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> it's still rolling. Is it gonna come? <laughs> oh no! It's gonna turn over. Oh! <laughs> Just missed the cut for that eight-minute fails video that came out the other day. Uh, oh man! <laughs> cut roll for days right there. Uh, David, that's a a pretty safe shot. Yeah. Nice and easy. It's a long yep. look from there, though. I was going to say it is, yeah. Daniel also has his work cut out for him Much after that roller ca- came halfway look. back. Yeah. Oh, wow. Great pull, oh. though. It was, wasn't it? Wow. Yeah, great shot. Hey, that's, that's a lot of work. David? Also a little bit of work left out. Oh, yeah. oh, don't go over there. Uh, yeah. Turn it to a forehand. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. All right, Larry, speaking of forehands, he's got a good one. Ooh. And flares right up to it. Yeah, that is parked. Dallas, this should be just an easy up and down for him. Oh, almost threw it in for Eagle. He did. And Scott, oh, that roller worked great. Nestle. It does. Mm-hmm. Got David. He's playing smart. Easy layup. Yep. Taking his par. Yep. Dallas is not going to be trying to take a par. Nope. Look. Oh. Oh. No. oh, well. Oh, man. No. Oh, man. Wow. Basket. Not playing nice. This 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 basket has some uh, Darius Haywood Bay hands. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Raiders reference? Raiders reference. Okay, yeah. I, I think he's somewhere else now. I can't remember where, though. Right. No, I don't think he's yeah. with him anymore. No. The guy was fast, from what I remember. He was fast, yeah. but had brick hands. Wow. Uh, yeah. Everybody dropping in. Uh, some nice birdies from Scott and Larry. Uh, Scott stretching that lead out to five. He's yeah. just really playing great. Yeah. So what he's uh, going to need to do six. is stay ahead of Dallas. Indeed. Uh, hole six, yeah, kind of. A lot like some we saw the first two holes. You want to play the Heiser flare skip to get behind those trees. Um, I wouldn't take my chances trying to go through. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're throwing a buzz saw. Yes. <laughs> Scott, that should putt. Yeah. Larry? He's got a nice backhand, too. Yeah, he really does. Yeah. Nice, nice Looks bird. like that'll work, too. Yeah. Dallas looking to get that bird and possibly get a stroke on Scotty. Ooh, it's pretty high. And he gets oh. under those branches and almost aces. 
Did it hit the basket? I think it might have. It looked like it hit fr front rim banger right there. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad to get a front rim banger on the drive. No, <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> Daniel? I think it's hooking up nicely. Ooh. Yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. And David? Oh. Uh, Be stable. A little much flex on it. Wow, that thing really just looks like it got shot out of the air. Doesn't it? That was very strange. Maybe tailwind or something. Yeah, we'll give it to him. David just lays it up for the par. Scott is not going to. Oh. That looked awkward. Yeah, tough stance. <laughs> I think he had to yeah. stretch out with the knee. Yeah, it was a little off. Larry, who needs chains? Burger. Yep. <laughs> nice birdie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like Dallas will be getting a stroke on Scott this hole, though. Uh, Assuming he makes that. Okay, yeah. yeah. Which we could... Although he did miss a short one, but he's not missing them. He's not missing two in a round. I don't think so. Hey, look at that focus. <laughs> look at that. He said a hole ago or two holes ago when he got the eagle that he couldn't make a 10-foot putt, but he could make that throw. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Man, they are, Ooh. They are dueling these, these short putts. Yeah. I like, yeah. You know, a little extra preparation. Uh-huh. You can't let your guard down, man. <laughs> right. You need all times focus. <laughs> what are they going over? Oh, I don't remember. All right. <laughs> Three birdies there. Uh, Dallas does get a stroke on Scott. Takes his lead down to four. And uh, Larry still still separating pretty well for third place. And hole seven. Oh, yeah. This hole, it, it's a tough, techie short hole, man. Yeah, I mean, if you can get that real low snake shot, it's definitely there. And then, you know, we saw Scott take the roller yesterday. Probably going to try mm -hmm. it again. Larry Burger does love cheeseburgers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you, you just kind of have to. Well, you know? with that name, yeah, <laughs> I would hope so. It would suck if you did. Yeah, it, it, it would be pretty awkward. Uh, that was a pretty good drive, Dallas. We got the Villas cam. Oh, nice. Nice work, Frank. And yeah, a little low, but he's got the yeah, long it was, look. It was a mm -hmm. line More importantly, he made it through the tunnel. No what. He did, yeah. If you don't get that first step out of the way, you're, you're in trouble on this one. Yeah, the rough is pretty rough. Mm -hmm. like, Daniel going back to the hoodie for the woods. Ooh, yeah, well, it's a little yeah. colder in the shade. It is, it is, yeah. <laughs> it should be able to up and down from there. Uh, Scott's going to that crazy roller again. Oh, he is. man. It's just not your ideal surface, but... <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Just got a little bit left on him. Did it Did it stop pretty quickly no, over there? No, I think he actually fought through a lot of that. Did he really? Yeah. Wow. And this. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Is that a two meter right it there? It's a two meter. Oh, that's... That's just that's whack. Oh, <laughs> it is. I, that's the word for it, man. Oh, man. Yeah. that just should not be. Oh, it's so wrong. <laughs> oh, Dave, you just got broke off, man. Yeah. That was hard to watch. Uh, oh. Brutal. That yeah, was. All right, here, here is Scott from short left, gonna pitch over for the par. Almost threw it in. And Daniel. He's got the warden here. Also left, but a little bit farther up the fairway. Good shot. Mm -hmm. Larry going to bust out the trusty forehand. Yeah, a little, ooh, uh, left ooh, a little bit of a tester. Should, should not have trusted it right there. Yeah. Dallas, a little running jumper here. Yeah. Not okay. Not, not bad. Yeah, gave it a go. Yeah. And David? No. Oh. A rough skip that, off the basket. That was for four, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, with the penalty yeah. stroke. Yeah. Yeah. Ouch. Uh, good cleanup from Larry there, right there. Makes up for the uh, upshot. Oh. Oh no. no. Oh no. FRVs are. That is a over. trip. Yeah. Ouch. Uh, Dallas cleans up after I believe that was Scott. David will drop it to six. Ah! Mm. Ouch. Triple. Yeah. You know, got wasn't all him. Got a, got a little hose there. Yeah, he definitely got hosed. Yep. Uh, Daniel cleans up the par nicely. Yep. And look at that view. Man, which is such a beautiful area. Yeah, it really is. So so cool. Everybody else taking pars, and uh, David with a little bit of a little bit of an issue right there, but <laughs> he'll be coming back for it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we're on to Hoyt, par 3, 228. It is right there. Oh. Uh, but we saw, if you're hanging out too wide, there's trouble. Exactly. Speaking of issues, Scotty had some trouble with this one yesterday. He did. try to correct that today. 
no doubt. Well, yesterday well, I meant round one. This is actually a two day or two round one day event. Okay, cool. Oh, good drive from Larry right there. Larry Berger. Dallas looking to improve. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh that's gonna high, work. But it's over stable. Yeah, it is. Wow. Yeah. Great shot. Ooh, Daniel, favorite course to La Viega. Can't hate that. As, uh, you can't. <laughs> Oh, that's fading early. Nice little yeah. anti-skip or whatever you call it. Yeah. Scott, see if he can redeem himself. It looks like it, Ben. Ooh, it's coming real good. Wow. Oh, parked. Nice. Totally redeemed himself. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Not even just like a little bit. Nope. Totally. Uh, totally. And speaking of totally redeeming themselves. David. Yeah. Yeah, yeah buddy. Well done. Got to turn that six into a five. Yeah. Yep. All right. Daniel. Yeah. Nice putt, Mr. Burrows. Yeah. Solid. That was. No doubter. Larry should be making this one as well. Oh, oh Larry. Oh, Oof. A little just, wide. Just, just a little wide, yep. Dallas Ooh, squeaks it over. <laughs> yep. <It's in. laughs> and Larry... He can come back for the par at least. Makes that nicely. Is he wearing Converse? Uh, I think so. Yeah, some Chuck Stars. <laughs> nice, man. And there are a couple drop-ins. Good drives, gents. Four birdies on that one. Pretty solid performance. Uh, looks like Scott still with a four-circle lead over Dallas. And Larry with three over Daniel. And we're on to hole nine. Hole nine, yeah. There's the... Uh not quite a sucker play. The more difficult play is right up the gut, and then there's the Anheuser route. And you're throwing yep. into the woods. Looks like Dallas going putter. Does kind of look like one. It does, yeah. Oh, man. It does, Ooh. especially by the way the wind affected it there, too. Just kind of yeah. shot it down. It really did, yeah. It just did not hold that turn either. Uh, Daniel? Taking that up the middle line, but peered it. Yeah. And flaring right at the basket. Is it really? Yeah, nice. but a little deep. Okay. But it's a cl clean comebacker at least. I think so, Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Scott also likes that Annie line, but yeah. needs some fade. Uh. A little short yesterday and a little short again today. Oh, again, that with the day. Round one, round two. Sure. <laughs> it's habit. All good. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> David? Oh, similar, similar action to Scott there. Yeah, good curl at the end. Mm-hmm. And Larry going to show off that forehand. This is a good yeah, shot for this hole. Me, it is, isn't it? Oh, what? Yep. Hey, yeah. It. yeah, sure <laughs> enough. <laughs> nice shot, Larry. Very nice. All right, Dallas finished long left, coming back for the bird. Good bid. Good bid. Yep. Mm -hmm. And David? Oh, yeah. another good bid. Man, yep. Daniel, from downtown. Oh, Ooh, had a good f good fight on it. Yep. And Scott from short left for two. Ooh, just over. Yep, there he is coming back for the par. No. Oh, what what is this? Oh, a brutal flare and. Oh, wow. Yeah. Scott. Mm. Scott Kyle doesn't do that. Mm -mm. Oh, uh, that's a good. Gets the bogey anyway. Yeah, composes yep. himself. Yep, good bogey save. Yep. Unfortunately, he's got a, a decent lead over Dallas, so he'll still have one going to the next hole, but it's it's shrunk. Yeah. Like and uh, Larry with the part job. Yeah. <laughs> Dallas is getting taunted by someone trying to call him on a footfall. Really? <laughs> I think the other guy was joking. I'm not sure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ridiculous. From another like, group, you know. Oh, okay, yeah. I got you. All right, Scott with the bogue. Uh, Dallas gets a stroke on him that leads down to three, and we're on to the the. the, the it's like the top golf hole, golf hole. Oh, I, ever, I've heard of top seen, golf, but I don't know the reference. It's like it's like a video game, and you like try to like land the ball in circles. Okay. And you sc score points by how close you are to the circles. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, and they're all. So Larry going for that last one on the right, and he gets shot down in between the circles and is out of bounds. Has to go to circle yeah. one, but no penalty. Okay. Dallas. This is the third circle that they're going for. The fourth one uh -huh. is left of it. 
It looks like Dallas got it. Yeah, nailed it. So the map of this hole is a little wrong. Apologies to the Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. Daniel, looks like he's also going for that third one. Yep, going a little wide, but coming back. And oh, get in there. Bingo. Very well done. That's that's great near the center, if, if anything. Yeah. Also, these David? hole distances or uh, island distances. The first one is 150, then it's 75 uh -huh. apart for each one. So 225 uh, okay. to circle two, 300 to circle three, which is where these guys are going. 375 uh -huh. to the one on the left, and then of course 475 to the basket. I would oh. Say, oh, he's right on the line. Is he in? Yeah, he got it. He's in. Close. He got it. Yeah, he's in. It's close though. It's really cool. Wow. So here's Larry from circle one. Yeah, and you probably need to get about 450 to get in that. But, of course, he's throwing from 150. So it's a 300-foot yeah. 300 300 shot, foot. slide uphill, got to avoid some trees. But well done. Cool. Uh -huh. And so David, was he in circle two? Uh, I th or circle one? I thought that was circle two. I, uh, yeah, I, yeah I, think, I think it is circle two. Okay. It looked like it. Yeah. Uh, Dallas from circle three. Oh, oh my Ooh, goodness. That was scaring it. For eagles. Sc uh huh. Scott trying to do the same. Oh, also kind of scaring it for Eagle. Mm hmm. And Daniel with the CTP drive. Yeah, nice. Looks like those should probably all birdie. Here is Larry for his. Yeah. Got that putt working again. Daniel? No. Oh. Rough. Man. Dallas does not miss, though. He will birdie. As I'm sure Scott will in a hot second after David does. Yeah. Good birdie from Dave. Good to see him chipping away at those uh, bogey strokes. Yeah, definitely. Scott <laughs> drops that one in. Uh, well, birdie. Yep, yep. And here is Daniel for a, a sad par after that putt. Nah, nah. Yep. Yep, yep. I believe that is the only par for the card, actually. Nope. Oh, uh, gallery running Bambi. away. <laughs> yeah, all right. There goes Bambi. Yeah. So there is birdies all around, except for Daniel. Uh, Scott holds on to three strokes over Dallas. And that is all we got for part one, Ben. All right, folks. See you in part two. Yep. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.